Just glorify the Lord that He's given to you all things that pertain to life and godliness. Great and precious promises. There are people out there, denominational people, seekers. They are sincere people. They are much like Apollos. They're like the 12 disciples of John. Notice, the apostles and the disciples never left sincere people in their sincerity and said they're okay. Apollos had to have the way of God explained to him more perfectly. That is love. Sometimes love has to contend, earnestly contend for the faith once delivered unto the saints. The 12 disciples of John, Paul didn't say, you're doing great. He said, have you heard about the Holy Ghost? Yeah. This gospel has been handed down in 2 Corinthians 4, 4. We're going to come to a close. It says, the little G, God of this world, has blinded the minds of people. So they cannot believe this gospel. There you go. The one doctrine Satan fights harder than anything is how do I make it into the kingdom of God? Yes, it is so simple. Beware lest anybody beguile you from the simplicity which is in Christ Jesus. So often we want to see everything in the world, every mirror, everything, and, and how do you this, that, and the other, when in reality, when you're born again and born in spirit, your citizenship is in heaven. Come on. And uh, you've been given great and exceeding great and precious promises. Hallelujah. So church and the Holy Ghost, I just want to encourage you, the keys to the kingdom in this end time hour, 2020, what Joe Biden needs, what... what Donald Trump needs what everybody, what Kamal Harris needs, what Mike Pence needs, what everybody needs. Everybody. Who is Jesus? Yeah. How am I saved? Yeah. And once I'm saved, how do I walk yeah. in the kingdom of God? Amen. It's been said the kingdom of God is like a three-legged stool. You take away any one of those legs, a two-legged stool just don't work. No. It is a three-legged stool. Yeah. You say, well, I, I believe Acts 2.38, and, and I believe walking in holiness, but I don't believe Jesus was God. You three-legged school is not working. That's right. So, well, I believe Jesus is God, and I believe in holiness. You three-legged stool is not working. All right. Well, I believe Jesus is God in Acts 2.38. I just don't believe this holiness stuff. You three-legged stool is just not working. That's right. I mean, I believe in holiness, but I don't believe in the other two things. Well, then you just got a one leg that's still. He wants to make you and I perfect and entire in him. Again, it's the simplicity of the gospel. Don't let anybody beguile you from this beautiful simplicity. This is the gospel that saves. This is the same message that Peter, John, James, the apostles preach. And it has been preached somewhere all throughout history down to the year 2020. And Jesus is coming back for a bride that is without spot, wrinkle, blemish, or any such thing. It is not about a, a fight over various and sundry of. Uh, weird doctrines. It is keep your eyes on the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yes. Grow in the grace and knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Build upon those foundational doctrines of Hebrews chapter. So if you're building an amazing Christian edifice but your foundation is wrong, how great will be the fall of yes. Repent. Get baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. This is the gospel of Jesus Christ that reverberates throughout the centuries. And reverberates in every heart. And it is what sees people born again from the state of sin to the state of grace. In reality, we're all living in a time of grace. But there's only two state of men in an overarching fashion. You're either in Christ or in Adam. That's right. And the only way you can get in Christ is you've got to have the keys to open the door. Yes. And then the keys on how to walk in the kingdom. Let's pray together. Yes. God, I glorify you. I love you, Lord Jesus Christ. I love your church. Yes. God, I love your truth. I am so thankful for the keys to the door. Thank you. God, let repentance, water baptism in Jesus' name, reception of the Holy Ghost, yes. declaring you as the Almighty God and walking in holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. Yes. But that be ever the foundation stones yes. of this church. I know yes. it will, God, because it is the foundation stones of your church. Yes. 
And if we just want to be in your church, God, yes. we glorify you yes. in Jesus' name. God, we don't want to walk as the world walks. We want to walk as your word walks. Yes. God, we love you in Jesus' name. We don't want to feel all around the ark. We want to be in the ark of safety. Yes. We love you, God. We love you, God. We don't want to be in a mixed multitude looking all over the place, part in God's people and part looking back to Egypt. But God, we want to be in that tabernacle back. God, we glorify you in Jesus' name. Why don't we all say in Jesus' name? Power in Jesus' name. Why don't we stand to our feet? Hallelujah. Let's stand to our feet. Why don't you pray for the person next to you? You know, if it's appropriate family, you can pray with them. It's not social distance. Let's everybody pray together in the name of Jesus.